Welcome to the General's Painting Corner. In this episode, we're going to show you how to use these tufts onto these uh, miniatures. Now, what's special about these specific tufts? This is a product made by Games and Gears. You get 200 tufts a sheet. What's really special about them is normally with normal tufts, you have to super glue them onto the base and they also shed, so you've got to make sure you glue them well. These tufts are self adhesive, you don't need to glue them whatsoever and they don't shed. Kind of remarkable, but uh, people have used them around the world and they do what they say on a tin can. So what's the best way of starting the basing process? So what I've done normally is I've used a paint from Games Workshop Citadel Miniatures, uh, which is um, Astro Granite Derberus. So I went on that first. Once that dried, it gives it a bit of texture on the base, as you can see. So it's not a flat base. There is, a, there is quite a bit of texture on it. And then what I did is I used Agrax Earthshade to ink it, to give it a bit of detail, to make it a bit more darker tone on the base, as opposed to just a bland gray. Next thing I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna insert the tufts. Now, the first thing you want to do is you, and what people sometimes miss, is you wanna start putting the tufts in the inside, because once you put the tufts on the outside, it's pretty hard to get into the inside of the base. So there are several different sizes. I'm gonna get this one here, this tuft here. So I'll just pick one from, let's say over here, like this. I'm just gonna stick it like that. So it just sticks, you know, it doesn't shed, doesn't come off. It's pretty much on. And that's with a bit of rough terrain. I mean, there is a lot of uh, debris on here thanks to the Games Workshop paint. And what I do like to do is I do like to mix these tufts around. So I do like to color and compare and contrast them like that. And then what you do, because there's so many tufts, I just I just mess around. Oh, yeah, it over there. And then what I'm doing, I'm just building up the base. I'm giving the base some definition of just these two colors. Uh, there is a third color, which is a dark scorched earth look. But, but since the base is already very dark, I do want to brighten up the base and also the model here. So again, my rule of thumb always is try and get these inside the base as much as you can because once you once they're in they're kind of stuck um, the other thing you can also do is get a plier and then put it into the middle now i haven't got a plier on hand but what i'm trying to do with my fingers is get them as much inside as possible because once you put other tufts around them it's going to be pretty difficult and what you can do as well is do the base separately and then put the model on uh, as long as you plan where the model's going to go. But as you can see, I'm getting away with a fair bit. And literally, it's taking me seconds to put these on. And what I love about these is they just literally don't fall off. I mean, they're pretty hard stuck on. They don't shed. I put a little bit of force there. And as you can see, they're stuck on the base. So moving on, I'm going to finish this off by dabbing. And it literally just takes seconds. And there is no real art to it in a bit, but it's just that compare and contrast making bringing the base alive let's put this one let's put a small little grass here as well you can do other things like put skulls around it if you want because it is a coordinate model and do they do love skulls but hold on a second let's get around to this corner here to finish this off i do love these these tufts because it just you take a very bland looking base you get a bit of you get you give it a bit of color and contrast and you've got a professional looking base that looks like you've spent a lot a lot of time on. That's what I love about these tufts. They skip a lot of the process and they also look very well done. Um, there we go, that looks sexy as hell. So there you go. Base done, tufts done. You can add a bit more color to it if you want, but that looks tabletop ready and ready to crush a few of the forces of the Imperium or anything that, you know, the blood god wants. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode on how to do Basically, they do the business, they skip the process of having to glue every single tuff individually, one by one. Uh, and I, you know, what I find them fundamentally fantastic, it saves me time, they look fantastic. Please make sure you subscribe to the video, please make sure you join our Patreon channel, like, the, like, like the, this video, subscribe, please put your comments below, let us know what you think. And uh, if you want to get a set of tufts, you can always go to the Games of Gears website, which the link is below and get yourself some tufts.